welcome back to my channel so today we are going to be doing kind of the clean girl aesthetic like this makeup look that I have on right now is kind of the vibe today so um, I'm getting ready basically for work tonight and I just thought I would hop on do a little get ready with me um, channeling my inner Brooke Schofield from the canceled podcast like I did a little slick back hairstyle and I'm feeling very Brooke core today so I thought you know let's channel that vibe but we're just gonna be chit-chatting trying some newer makeup that I got and just doing a like an everyday look for me love it so let's go ahead and get into it I know my face looks scary I have like a big scab right here because I had the biggest pimple I think I've ever had it was like one of those hormonal like under the skin ones and it my face has just been breaking out this week because it's it's the hormones and they're just you know you know how it is being a girl hate it so we're gonna try to cover this up today um but I'm also like getting ready for work because I work tonight I just put my hair in like a little braid I tried to do a clean girl aesthetic like hair but I feel like my head is so big that it always just looks weird like I have such a round little egg face that the slick bags <laughs> look weird on me but it's fine I just bought this um primer actually it's the rare beauty one I so far really like it I've only I just used it yesterday for the first time so it's like her pore primer and I feel like it actually does really help blur the pores so we are going in with that as my primer i just love rare beauty products in general like her products are just so good like especially for a celebrity line i love her and i love her makeup so that is what we are going in with i'm gonna go in with the infallible by l'oreal i'm gonna add some over like my blemishes to kind of spot conceal before I go in with my uh, like foundation because I've heard that that's a good way to really get like the coverage going on so we're gonna try that because my face has not been loving me this week and I just did a cute little like um, night get ready with me like last week and my skin looked pretty good and then here comes mother nature to ruin my life i'm gonna go in with the makeup by mario i love my fenty one too but i don't know i'm just feeling the makeup by mario one today i have mine in the shade 3w in case anyone was wondering um and i'm just gonna go in, i'm gonna use my real technique sponge too blend it in today i really like this foundation but you guys want to hear a funny story so i was in sephora like a big one that's in the mall uh, about a week or so ago and i was at the checkout and the lady um was looking at the little like the little small stuff you know by the checkout the little minis and things and she came up to me while I was in line and she was like, oh my gosh, I love your foundation. She was like, what foundation are you wearing? And you guys, I didn't want to say a drugstore one. I don't know why, because I was in Sephora and I just felt like I don't want to say I'm wearing CoverGirl when I'm literally wearing CoverGirl. You know what I mean? So I was, I had to think like so quick on the spot, like what other foundation do I like? wear a lot that isn't drugstore because a lot of the time I do wear drugstore foundations because like I go through them pretty frequently and I don't want to be buying 40 50 60 dollar foundations all the time you know like I just don't want to spend my coin like that you know what I'm saying like I love makeup and I love like investing in good products but I don't know I just don't love when there's good options that are less, I like to go for those. You know, I like to splurge every now and then and buy like the Fenty, the makeup by Mario, that kind of stuff. But I don't like to go crazy all the time with my foundations because I feel like a lot of the drugstore ones are comparable, okay? Like, let's just be real. 
so i was like on the spot and i was like trying to think of one because i didn't want to say oh i'm wearing cover girl but i literally was i literally was wearing this cover girl outlast extreme blend that one i literally was wearing that and she was like i'm obsessed with your foundation which one is it so i had to think on the spot so quick and i literally was like oh i'm wearing the makeup by mario which I do own that one and like as I'm using it right now, but I definitely wasn't wearing it that day. I don't know why it's like I felt pressured to say that. <laughs> I think because I was in like Sephora, the bougie makeup store. I don't know. I didn't want to be like, oh, I'm wearing CoverGirl, which it doesn't matter. I don't know why I said that, but that was just a funny like dumb thing that happened to me the other day. Um... But I think that lady ended up getting that foundation. I love Tower 28. Like, they are one of my favorite brands. And I got their concealer finally. My store added in stock. So I got the shade DTLA. I didn't really know what shade to pick. But I thought this one looked like a pretty good little match for me. So, we'll, we'll see. I used it, like, once already. I'm a Tower 28 fan through and through like every product I've tried from them I have thoroughly enjoyed I think the Amazon person's here she's yelling um now that I look like a literal brown egg I literally look like an egg. We're gonna go in with the LYS in the shade No Limits. Oh, no, it's the No Limits bronzer stick in the shade Harmony. I love, love this. This is like my fave bronzer stick. I think um, this one and the Rare Beauty are those girls. They're just so good. So we're gonna go in. Oops. Got a little bit on the cap there. Cannot get that TikTok trend out of my head that with the Lana song and like them tying bows to everything. And it's like, I love to love to love to love you. I hate to hate to. That one with the bows tied to everything. It keeps like cracking me up. Oh my gosh. Like I, I literally reposted one and it was this girl with taco bell and the she had tied bows on it and then had that song with it and it just it's like this this is why i'm on tiktok this is why i have the app like it's just so funny oh i could be on there for hours hours i don't know if anyone likes watching my get ready with me's but i that's like some of my favorite videos to watch i just love products I love seeing what products are people's favorites. I love seeing their routines. Like, I don't know. I'm just a product junkie. Like, I'm product obsessed. I don't know why. I just am. So, I love watching Get Ready With Me's. Especially, like, on TikTok. They're shorter, but YouTube is just my platform. <laughs> like, I love making YouTube videos, even though they're longer. They're ramblier. Don't know if... I don't know. I feel like long form content will make its way back around, even though a lot of people love the short attention span content. I love just putting a video on and having it play in the background while I'm doing something, or I like the long form content. So that might just be me, but I feel like it will all come back full circle, you know? Me. Okay, I feel like that lighting looks better. The other one was so cool tone. I feel like the warm looks better. I use this in my last get ready with me, but I don't even care. It's just, it's so pretty. This is the Patrick Ta She's Flushed Blush. It's gorgeous. I'm going to go in with the cream side first and then add the powder. I know his way is like do the powder and then the cream, but... I'm going to do cream and then we'll put the powder on top. Got that Lana song stuck in my head. 
I love her. Like, I think she's so funny. <laughs> like, why was she at working, or why was she at a Waffle House? I kept seeing that on TikTok, and I was like, what is going on? Was it, like, just to be funny, or was she doing it for a music video? Like, what was going on? I don't know the full context behind that. I haven't been to one of those, though, in, like, forever. Like, there's one that's about, it's probably, like, 30 minutes from me. But I don't think there's any more in my area besides that one. And I haven't been there in who knows how long. It's been a very long time. I'm just going to use the good old Cody Airspun today. And I'll kind of pack quite a bit under there and just let it like bake for a minute when I, while I set the rest on my face. With the powder portion of She's Flush. And add that over top. You guys know I work in a makeup store. So, I've been eyeing this for months. It's the Airbrush Bronzer um, from Charlotte Tilbury. And we were having a little sale and stuff in our discount. So, I was like, now's the time. So, this is the medium shade. And I, I don't normally go for Charlotte Tilbury products because I think they're low-key overpriced. I don't know. But this one was calling my name. Like, the packaging was so beautiful I was like just picturing this sitting on my desk and I was like need literally need um but it's a bra a big giant bronzer inside it's so just it just so fucks and pretty it kind of reminds you of like a seashell or something it's so ooh, that packaging just got me packaging will get me I'm telling you that's what I like that's what my eyes are drawn to. I finally broke down and got it. So that's what we're going to use today on top of my um, LYS. We're going to use this powder bronzer from Miss Charlotte Tilbury. Charlotte Tilbury. Have you seen her commercials? They're funny. Add some highlight, you already know. Miss Rare Beauty. This is the shade Exhilarate, one of my absolute, absolute favorite highlighters of all freaking time. Where is my highlighter brush? But it's like the most beautiful golden. Like, do you guys, do you see that? Like, oh my gosh. And that was like one tiny little dip in here. Oh. Like look how just glazed that looks. Oh, so pretty. Milani Make It Last, you already know, my, my favorite drugstore setting spray. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. This stuff smells so fresh, so good. Love it. For my brows, I'm using the Black Brown Tattoo Studio Palmade. Um, and I just like to use this to kind of fill in sparse areas or, um, I don't know, the tail ends of like my brows. I feel like I'm kind of living the clean girl aesthetic today. I don't know. That's not usually my vibe, but I like to try to think that I could have that vibe. I feel like I'm usually like troll core, like rotting in my room core, depression core. But, you know... Doesn't hurt to try a different aesthetic. 
Okay, what do we think? I feel like that looks pretty good. Using the Essence Fix It Like a Boss Transparent Brow Gel. This is actually a really good brow gel. I think we're just gonna go with bronzer in the crease and then like some sparkle on the lid. My vibes recently. I haven't been doing quite as much like fun colorful makeup like I used to. I don't know why. I don't know why but I've just been into like nat not natural. <laughs> not natural. But um just like every day well it's not the typical person's every day but like neutral glam i guess my matte Too faced chocolate soleil bronzer and we're just gonna put that in the crease we're just gonna add that to the crease all over super easy this is like an eyeshadow look anyone can achieve okay add a little under okay i found the one i was looking for i was looking for the sh i almost said super shock the super shock color pop shade ritz it's a dupe for urban decay space cowboy like look at that Ooh. and i just like to press it all over my eye it just has like a silver shimmer but then like a tan like undertone in it oh it's so pretty so I just kind of pat that all over and then go in on the other side as well and do the same thing Ooh. add a little liner oops i'm gonna do it off camera because i can't do liner on camera it's so bad um but i'm gonna use the perfect strokes liner from rare beauty you guys already know i love her so i will be right back and we will um put some mascara on seeing my cookie highlighter from benefit i have it in a little palette so i'm just gonna add that in my inner corner also a tiny bit on the tip of the nose i love that highlighter use the tower 28 mascara i have a little mini one here it keeps wanting to focus on my snoopy love this mascara and i have been using the ordinary little lash and brow serum on my lashes and I think it's really helped them grow quite a bit. So I like this. And the Tower 28 mascara is so good. I want to get a full size. But I have a lot of other mascaras that I haven't even opened that I need to get through. Okay, I am going to add a little brown liner in my waterline. This is the Killer Liner and Killer Chocolate from Too Faced. Why oh, so much killer? I don't know. But we're going to add that. And the waterline. It's just like the name is just a chocolatey brown. It's time for lips. So I'm going to be using, again, Rare Beauty, my favorite, <laughs> one of my favorite brands. Um, this is their Kind Words Matte Lip Liner in the shade Wise. I just got this one. It's like a nice um, brown. We're going to go in for this gloss that I just bought and I have been using it non-stop since I got it. I got it like four days ago I want to say and I've been using it every single day because it's so good. Patrick Ta 2CC's which is like lip injections basically but it says plumping gloss and it's such a pretty neutral color and it just mm, it's the perfect plumping gloss formula. It smells like kind of like bubble gum like cough syrup but like i don't know i kind of like it nice applicator that kind of like dips in really rub my lips together so it kind of blends that gloss in or that lip liner in and it's not 
a plumpy formula that's like super stingy and hurts like the Too Faced lip injections. Those ones like hurt. This one feels like cooling minty kind of but it gives you that little tingle. This is like my favorite kind of a plumping formula. And look at the lips. Like they just look so juicy. They're so juicy. So I love, love, love. I love Patrick Ta in general. Like, I just want to try all of his products. He slays. He slays. And he's so gorgeous. I literally said that in my last video. I was like, why is Patrick Ta so gorgeous? Like, he's so handsome. I think I am going to add lashes just because, like, it makes me and my heart complete. I'll be right back. This is what we have going on so far. Is this clean girl aesthetic? I don't know. It's basically my normal like everyday type makeup but i feel like it looks pretty i like it so far so let me add some lashes i'll be wait back. okay guys here is the finished makeup i added i think they were just demi wispies that i had that i added to the look but i feel like it just tied the whole thing together and it looks so pretty this is my makeup to go to work tonight but I tried to, I feel like I'm saying clean girl aesthetic literally just because my hair's in like a slick back little braid. Um, but it's, I'm feeling um, very Brooke Schofield. Brooke, I think that's how you say her last name. I don't know. Because I watched just Trish and she had Brooke on. And I really liked her. Like she just seems so sweet and she's so pretty. So I'm in my Brooke core today channeling her. Um, but yeah, I feel like this makeup look just, it's so cute. Thank you to everyone who watches. I literally, it means so much to me that even one person sits here and watches my videos. I just, I love making them, so it makes me so happy. But anyways, thank you guys again for watching. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe down below. It would mean the absolute world to me. Love you guys. Thank you again, and I will see you in my next video. Have a good day.